okay guys uh, today i would like to show you a small project how to control a led using your phone or laptop with the help of raspberry pi so in order to do that the things required are an led uh, some wires or two breadboard of course raspberry pi and pi cobbler okay so uh, we there is no requirement of pi cobbler but if you have a female cable female and a male cable you can connect it from raspberry pi to the to the breadboard but here uh, for this project i am using pi cobbler which almost serves the same thing okay let's get started so first let me connect uh, the pi cobbler to my raspberry pi so i'm doing this uh, by connecting this hinge i don't think you can see that this hinge here so to the black to the breadboard okay so okay so i think it's connected so we have breadboard connected with raspberry pi so now i would like to connect the ground uh, i don't think it's visible but this here is a ground in pi cobbler so i'm going to connect it here with the negative and the breadboard right and we can connect a rest, uh, rest, uh, resistor uh, anything from 333 ohm to 1k um, to make sure that LED is not burned out but here I am going to connect it directly to the pin 23 so the short lag is the negative so I am going to connect the negative to here and the 23 to the positive Right. Yep. Yep. That's it. We are done with the, with connecting the Raspberry Pi uh, with a breadboard using Pi cobbler. So, to in order to control the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to connect a uh, LAN cable to the Raspberry Pi, and and I'm using a power bank, whatever it is, uh, to power up my Raspberry Pi. So this is how it looks finally mm, a power bank to connect to the raspberry pi uh, a LAN cable from a router to raspberry pi and then a cobbler pi cobbler to connect to the breadboard and a led with a crown now i'm going to make ssh connection uh, with my pi raspberry pi if you need help on how to connect the raspberry pi with SSH I will be more than happy to help so right now I am in my Raspberry Pi so I placed all the required files in a folder called server so let's look at that so app.js is the node.js which we will be using to connect from the web client to the Raspberry Pi so the views are the HTML files files public will have will contain files that are required to do this and node underscore modules will have the server ser server control which we are going to talk about more so let's look at the node.js okay so here as you can see we are using express uh, to control to make a web server so the we are setting we are configuring the express app dot set will give me the html files the view files and the port which we are listening to and then app dot get on and off are the buttons which we will be using in the html file so this is it so let's look at the HTML file which I am talking about. So, 
so this is the HTML file uh, I will show you what this file is in a minute so basically this is like it has one on button and an off button and then a function to call when a on, on button is clicked or off button is clicked so this slash on and slash off is referred in the app.js which uh, you saw earlier and let's look at the control.js that controls the whole thing okay so the control pin is mentioned here and then the on and off that were called by the app.js are written here and then if we click on right high function is called which is written here so that says um, just switch on the pin keep the pin high if we click on on button and right low will just make the pin zero you can see here and one if it's high it's as simple as that close pin will close the server it's a small function which we can use so let's look at things now okay so let me start uh, the node.js so we'll call using node space app.js okay so this is express server listening on port 3000 so if i need to connect so i say 10.0.26 and the port is 3000 so once i click it so you can see the led controller is on and off the two switches which i'm talking about and so as you can see on and off so now as it's listening on port 3000 and we already accessed the port number so and I placed my Raspberry Pi here the LED here so I'm going to go ahead and click on on my computer right so you can see the LED glue and I can say off and you can also see that I can see the commands so that's a uh, high load high on off so I'm going to do this one more time so click on to on the LED off to switch off right and then here you can see it's giving me the port 16 is on or off Right, I'm clicking on this. I can do this same thing on the phone. So I have the phone and the number is actually given. So let me just bring down the brightness so that you can see this. Right, so I have this on. And then I can off. On and off and these are the values when I click on and off so here it is if you have any questions please feel free to comment in the video below and I have updated the links with the required tutorials and stuff okay bye bye